Yeah, uh, I think we have uh, gathered here really today to discuss and agree uh, to form a partnership with uh, with the operators, uh, with other players in the ecosystem. He, you know, Aircel has been a very, very data-focused player. And for us, as we go forward, to grow the data market, it's very imperative that we get other ecosystem players into the game and work together to really make sure customers start finding a seamless customer experience. In that context, I think this partnership of tying up with a device, with a technology provider, as well as an operator, will go a long way in ensuring that we're able to deliver uh, customer experience at a reasonable price to the customer. Because you know uh, the price will be reasonable because technology allows it to crunch it faster, uh, devices are good, plans are effective, and our network connectivity is there. So we think three of us coming together will ensure that the customer gets the best possible opportunity to really experience the data services uh, uh, which is really the core of growth for many telecom operators uh, in the coming years. You had a similar arrangement with the Micromax last year. How was the you know impact from the you know, response from the industry? The arrangement was different. Uh, at that time, our focus was more on providing Micromax devices without the technology partner, and I think that experience has been good. We have added a large chunk. You know, for example, in Micromax business, about. Uh, 20% of the devices are now coming on the air cell network, which was earlier much lower. So this has helped us to grow our share of the new devices which form, uh, or the new quality devices which we were uh, which we were getting earlier. So it helps us to accelerate uh, the growth of 3G devices on our network, or good quality devices on our network, which then really translates into better customer uh, experience and higher ROPs for us. Can you share some of your new strategies this year? I think in terms of our focus, uh, we air cell as a brand has continued to be at the two cornerstones of the brand for us. One of course is that we provide value for money to the customer in terms of what we do. We provide we provide everything. You know, we as a brand provide customers something more extra and whatever we do. So that's been one uh, cornerstone and we continue to build on that with either it's in our tariff plans, whether it's launch of our, uh, you know, a special plan for all ISD 5444 which allows, you know, local rate calling to five uh, international destinations like the US and UK and which is one big uh, initiative we did uh, in, the, in the last uh, month or so. Uh, then we also rolled up some things called experiencing uh, free uh, 3G mornings that in 6 to 9 customers who are on ASL network can experience 3G and therefore get a chance to understand how 3G works and whether that is something which they would like to do. So it's free 3G morning 6 to 9 for many markets, parts of the world, uh, many parts of the market we've introduced. Um, so all this is fundamentally attempted to a grow the data experience at the same time, uh, uh, grow the data business at the same time, also provide value for money uh, product of propositions to customers like uh, the international calling uh, operation. We also launched uh, uh, recently the Magic, uh, sorry, the Happy Recharge, which is really a combination of voice and data recharges, which was earlier not the case. So really, again, going back to the cornerstone of, of value and data, which has been uh, our, our core drivers and that will continue to be a focus uh, in the coming months as well. Can you share your technology focus to improve the customer experience? What do you do? I think uh, for customer experience, it's two or three things. Of course, you need to continuously to provide speeds on data and you need to provide uh, network uh, availability and connectivity on voice platforms. So we continuously invest whether it's on the back of the space, whether it's improving uh, our uh, optimization to improve the frequency of work. So that's always on top of our mind to ensure call drops are minimal. So on all those elements, we keep working on to uh, ensure customer experience uh, remains as uh, strong as ever.